Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is the last part of Chapter 1 in Handbook of SAS Data Step Programming Book. In this video, we will learn how to subset data by selecting variables, and how to change the appearance of the data. In SAS language, subsetting data refers to selecting a portion of a data set by only keeping certain variables, or selected observations, or both. This section covers how to subset a data set by selecting certain variables. Subsetting a data set by selecting observations is covered in Chapter 3. To subset data by selecting variables, we can either keep or drop one or more variables. SAS provides a convenient method for referring to a list of variables by using the SAS variable list notation. Variable list notation can be used in many SAS statements and data set options. There are four types of variable lists, including numbered range lists, name range lists, name prefix lists, and special SAS name lists. The variables that are referenced in numbered range lists must have the same name, except for the last one, or more characters. The last one or more characters need to be consecutive numbers. We need to use a single dash to connect the beginning and ending variables. For example, writing var1 var3 is equivalent to writing var1, var2, var3. To use named range lists, we need to know the creation order of the data set, which can be found via the var nom option from proc contents. For example, id double dash preg refers to all the variables between id to preg, based on variable creation order. Name prefix refers to all the variables that begin with a specified character string. For example, drug colon refers to all the variables that begin with the character drug. Lastly, Special SAS name uses special SAS names. Underscore numeric underscore, underscore character underscore, and underscore all underscore, refer to all numeric, character, or all variables that are already defined in the current data step, respectively. To create a data set by selecting several variables, we can use either the keep equals data set option, or the keep statement. Using data set options allows us to specify certain actions that apply to either the input or output data sets. To use the data set options, we need to place the data set options in parentheses after the data set name. Specifying the keep equals data set option after the data set name in the set statement reads only the specified variables from the input data set. On the other hand, placing the keep equals data set option in the data statement controls which variables are written to the output data set. Program 1.11 creates a data set by reading the variables ID, smoke, and age from the hearing data set. Using the keep equals option after the output data set name in the data statement will yield the same result. However, specifying the keep equals option in the set statement is more efficient, because SAS only reads the desired variables. To verify whether the DAT1 data set was created correctly, we can check the SAS log. Based on the information from the log, DAT1 contains 34 observations and 3 variables. Alternatively, we can select variables in the data step by using the keep statement. For example, program 1.12 creates the same data set by using the keep statement. We can also use the drop equals data set option or drop statement to select variables that we want to remove, when creating a data set. Program 1.13 selects the same variables, ID, smoke, and age, from the hearing data set, by using the drop equals option. In this program, writing preg double dash income is equivalent to listing all the variables between preg and income. Program 1.14 achieves the same result by using the drop statement. If you have more variables to drop than to keep, it will be easier for you to use the keep equals option, or the keep statement to save you some typing. Conversely, if you have more variables to keep than to drop, you should use the drop equals option, or the drop statement. We can specify the drop equals, and keep equals data set options in either the data statement, or the set statement, depending upon whether we want to process the values of the variables in the data step. For example, Program 1.15 creates a data set with two variables, ID and income high. In this program, the keep equals option is used in the set statement to read ID and income from the input data hearing. The income variable is required, since we need to use income to create income high. Since we don't need income in the output data set, we can then specify income in the drop equals option in the data statement. 
The drop equals and keep equals data set options can be used in either the set statement to apply to the input data set or the data statement to apply to the output data set. However, the keep and drop statements apply only to output data sets. When we create multiple output data sets, we can use the drop equals or keep equals data set options to write different variables to different data sets. The drop or keep statements apply to all output data sets. Program 1.16 uses one data step to create two SAS data sets, DAT4 and DAT5. DAT4 is created by keeping only the ID, race, and smoke variables, and DAT5 is created by keeping only the ID, age, and preg variables. The keep equals option is used to control which variables are kept after each data set name. When we encounter a new data set, we will often notice that the variable names are frequently very brief. Shorter but more meaningful variable names are often a preferred format, because they are easy to type, and save storage space. This idea also applies to variable values. For example, the numerical value 1 is often used to represent yes, and 0 is used to represent no for some categorical variables. Labeling variable names, and formatting variable values are often conducted by programmers. The purpose of doing so is to provide a more appealing look when printing the output from a procedure. Labeling and formatting variables only modify the appearance of the variable's name and value. These actions have no effect on the variable's original name and value. To create a descriptive label for a variable, we can use the label statement. We can label one or more variables within one label statement, and separate them by spaces. The assigned labels can contain blanks, and can be no more than 256 characters. If the assigned label contains semicolons or equal signs, we need to enclose the label in either single, or double quotations. If the label contains a single quote, we must enclose the labels in double quotations. To remove labels from variables, we need to use the label statement, and associate the variables with a single blank space in quotation marks. We can use the label statement in either the data step, or proc step. When using a label statement in a data step, we associate labels with the variables permanently. In this situation, the assigned label becomes one of the variable's attributes. When using a label statement in the proc step, the assigned label is only available to the output that the current procedure generated. The label statement in the proc step does not add permanent labels to the input data set. In program 1.17, the variables hearing and income are assigned with permanent labels in the newly generated data set. If we want to see variable labels in the output from the print procedure, we need to use the label option in the proc print statement. Based on the partial output from proc contents from program 1.17, we can see that the hearing and income variables have permanent labels that are under the label attribute column. Program 1.18 calculates mean, median, and standard deviation for the income variable by each category of ethnicity. In proc means, the label statement is used to assign the race variable a temporary label, ethnicity. Notice that the label attribute for the income variable is listed in the output, because the income variable is assigned a permanent label in the data step previously. A format is an instruction to tell SAS how to write data values. We can use formats to control the written appearance of data values in the output. Variable values can be formatted by using either SAS formats, or user-defined formats that are created from the format procedure. This section only covers the SAS format, and PROC format is covered in Chapter 10. To associate formats with variables, we need to use the format statement. In the format statement, we associate a format with one, or more variables that are listed before the specified format. If we associate a variable with a format in the data step, the associated format will become permanent, and the format will become the variable's attribute. Like the label statement, if we use a format statement in some PROC steps, the associated format will only be available for the output of the current procedure. SAS has a large selection of formats that allow us to format character and numeric variables. To format standard character data, we need to start with a dollar sign. The W field is used to specify the total width of the character values. The period is a required component of the format. There are many formats to write non-standard character values. The non-standard character formats contain a keyword in between the dollar sign and the W field. For example, the upcase format converts character values to uppercase when writing the data value. 
The quote format writes data values enclosed in double quotation marks. To write numeric values in the standard format, we need to use the WD format. The first field W is used to specify the total width of the numerical values, including the decimal point. The second field is a period. The last field D is optional. It is used to specify the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. If D is omitted, WD format writes the value without a decimal point. A non-standard numeric format contains a keyword in front of the W field. For example, the dollar format writes a number as follows, a leading dollar sign, a comma that separates every three digits, and a period that separates the decimal fraction. When using the dollar format, the W field must be large enough to include the dollar sign, comma, and decimal point. To disassociate a format from a variable, we need to use the variable in a format statement, without specifying any formats in a data step. Program 1.19 associates the smoke and hearing variables with the upcase 5 format, and the income variable with the $11.2 format. Since the width of the upcase format is not long enough, only the first five characters in the smoke variable are printed in the output. Let's summarize what we've learned in this video. We learned how to subset data by selecting variables. When we select a list of variables, we can utilize SAS variable list notation, such as numbered range, name range, name prefix, and special SAS name lists. To select variables, we can either use keep equals, drop equals data set option, or keep, or drop statements. Keep in mind that keep equals, drop equals data set options can apply to input and output data sets. Keep or drop statements only apply to output data sets. We also learn how to label variable names by using the label statement and format variable values by using the format statement. Using these two statements in the data step, we'll add these attributes to the variables permanently. However, using them in the proc step only changes the appearance of data temporarily. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates.